Hi guys, I know it's been a bit since I've done this, um, so this time I'm going to do, I'm going to do a 22 ounce mug, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. Um, the design of this cup I'm doing is based on this vinyl, which I got from Robin. It's lovely watercolor trees, and it's a winter scene, and it's got purples, and it's got these these cool blues up to this dark blue and it's 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 just so winter and right now it feels like minus 40 outside so um, it's a good day to be thinking about winter so Robin has also two silver chromes one's a satin finish and one's a shiny finish you can tell by the reflection um, which is which. I don't know if they go different under epoxy or not, but we'll, I guess, find out. Um, I have Bonnie Blue from Robin, uh, Impressing Images, I guess. I should, should be saying the name of her company, not her name. Um, it's this lovely, um, oh, like a cool denim kind of, kind of look. Um, and then uh, Sky's the Limit which is another pressing image is glitter and it's this um, like a like a steely blue and I have um, some silver mica from her and I also have this purple mica which this is what it looks like outside of its packaging it's this lovely purple and it's gonna pick up the purple in this in this image and then I have this chunky mix which is called mirror mirror which is a white and silver mix so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a um, swirl type of dealio on this tumbler which kind of I'm, I'm gonna do it in in horizontal lines you'll see um, and, and instead of like swirling all over the place, I'm going to do it kind of in horizontal lines and, and to kind of mimic the color placements on this vinyl. And then I'm going to do a, a wrap over top of it. So um, let's get started. Okay, so for um, my base of my cups, I tend to mix um, the number of ounces in the cup milliliters in epoxy. So for a 22 ounce tumbler, I would ordinarily make about 22 ounces or 22 millimeters, milliliters of epoxy. But when I'm doing a swirl, you have to put um, a clear layer of epoxy onto the cup first, and then you add your swirls and you have to mix. So you need to have extra. So in this case, I've mixed 40 mils of epoxy and um, so what I'm going to do, because I'm doing this as a swirl, all of those colors that I just showed you, I am going to um, just add a little bit of epoxy into each of these cups with the um, colors in them, leaving a good amount that I can just add onto the cup. And then if I have any of the clear left over I'll just add it in. I'm going to make the handle the purple mica um, so that part won't be swirled so I'm just adding a little bit more epoxy to that and I just want a small, I want maybe a little bit more for that. So I'm just going to mix each one of these up isn't this a gorgeous purple? Look at this. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to wipe my mixing stick off in between each and just do a quick mix job to get it distributed into the epoxy. I'm 
at this point I don't want to contaminate in between them. I love this color. Sky's the limit. It's gorgeous. Okay, my silver. And then this mirror, mirror, white and silver mix. That's just going to be a little bit of an accent, and it's a little thicker than I want it, but we'll work with that. All right, so my cup, I'm going to, I'm not going to bother with the handle right now because I'm not doing a swirl on the handle. You don't, you don't really need enough for full, full coverage. You just need to get a little bit on there so that there's the ability to create some movement. So just enough to cover the cup. You want more coverage than you would if you're doing epoxy method, but not full coverage. So we're right in the happy medium place here. So I'm going to start layering on my colors, but I'm going to speed it up so it doesn't um, take so long I don't need this glove anymore so I'm just going to take that off and I'm going to use a smaller um, this is a, a stainless steel it's a, it's actually a cocktail stirrer it's not an epoxy stirrer but it uh, it's a little bit smaller so it'll work to to um, put it on here, but I'm just going to speed this up really quick so that you can see what I'm doing without um, waiting for this to take forever. So hang on just a minute. Okay, I'm going to keep the um, cup still while I apply the purple mica to the handle and it just lets me get into all of the nooks and crannies. And now I'm going to add the uh, sky's the limit blue on the top third of um, the cup just placing it kind of randomly so that I can get the blues and the purple to all mix as we go and now I'm adding the bonnie blue and that's going to be mostly on the top because I'm trying to mimic the the vinyl um, and I'm just I'm blending it into the sky's the limit and the bonnie the bonnie blue together as well as the purple mica it's going to be on the in the middle parts of um, of what we're doing and then I'm going to add silver on the bottom to represent the snow that's on the bottom of the vinyl and you don't have to be you can see all of the white spaces you don't have to be super precise at this point because the heat gun's going to smooth everything out and uh, make sure everything is is covered as we go and so now I'm just adding the mirror mirror it's a little bit thicker than I want but it's gonna work out just fine I'm just placing it kind of randomly around the cup so that when I apply the heat gun to it, it's going to spread out and um, 
and look like a snowy sky. So here's my heat gun and I'm just going to wave it over. It's just on low so it's it's uh, not going to burn anything. You want to keep it nice and close and you can start to see um, the epoxy dripping off of the cup and it's swirling together and, and it just happens just so quickly and, and look at what that mirror mirror did. Um, so now I'm going to just <clears throat> make sure that that um, my epoxy goes up to the edges because that's what happens with um, micas and, and glitters. They pull away from the edges just because of gravity. So I'm just filling them in. Alrighty, this is how my little um, swirl came out. And I am so quite thrilled with how this looks that um, I am just going to cut the trees out and put them along the bottom and have this be the sky um, that mimics and then I'll use, use that vinyl for something else like lettering or, or something that will use the, the different colors in. But I, I just do not want to cover all of this beautiful sky up. Now when you're dealing with micas and even glitter, um, gravity takes over and this is why um, people say to paint your cup um, as close to your color that you're using uh, for micas or whatever um, as you possibly can so that when gravity happens it is not quite so obvious. So you can see um, on my edges here I've got where the um, micas have pulled away it's white and even on the top edge, my glitter is pulled away from the top edge and it's white around there and there's a little bit on the silver as well, right on this line here, because that's just a gravity thing. There's not a lot you can do to prevent it. So if you, if I had painted this whole thing silver, it would just be silver peeking out, but, um, I am going to try something I haven't tried yet, um, so it's going to be an interesting experiment and I'm going to see if I can use tack it over and over and um, burnish in the spots that I want to be colored that are uh, coming up as white. Um, but this is just such a, a winter cold winter feeling to me so I just want to keep going with this so um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to apply tack it all over I'm going to apply it around the rim and the the white parts of I'm just going to apply it to the whole handle and um, and around this white edge that's just right on the rim here I will let it dry for 15 minutes until it's no longer white and then um, we'll try and get these spots covered up by using um, the glitter and the mica powder in a way that that uh, we'll just burnish it into it apparently it is time for me to get some more of this stuff I just put it on straight. I don't. I don't dilute it. I don't know why people dilute it because you always end up having to um, put on extra coats if you do. So I just straight up put it on. And so I'm just using. I'm using a Teclon brush, which is this amber colored bristle, and I'm just hitting around this edge. You just leave it where exactly the white is it's going to be a little bit harder to to see but if you have it over the the darker part a little bit it'll be a little bit more obvious when it's dry because you can see it when it's wet so now i'm just going to do a 
the whole handle. And you just want to just, just cover it. You'll notice that this purpley glitter reads very blue. Um, but if you look at it at certain angles, or this mica powder, if you look at it at a certain angle, it's purple, but it's blue and blends kind of right into this, this wintry sky. And I'm absolutely loving it. And this uh, mirror mirror is like the falling snow. It, it, it's, uh, I am quite, quite pleased with how this is coming out. So if we can just get these parts touched up, if this works, I hope it will. Um, and then once, once you're done with this step, we will have to seal it because as soon as we add epoxy on it, it's all going to shift and move around and we don't want that to happen. So we're going to have to do a spray seal coat afterwards. Okay. So I've got my glue all on here. We're just going to now wait for it to dry. With this tack it over and over, it's a repositionable glue. And so the way that it is dry is it's like the back of a post-it note that that tacky feeling that's why regular glue doesn't work for this it dries to that so i'm just going to leave this sit to dry and um come right back okay my tack it over and over is now dry and um I'm going to start with the glitter part here. And I'm going to put the darker blue, which is this Bonnie blue, around that and burnish it on. Being careful not to apply it over that because I don't want this becoming a part of the handle. So I'm just going to push it onto my edge. Knock it off. And just rub it down with my fingers. It's not holographic, so we don't need to really polish it. We just need to make sure it gets pressed into the glue and it's going to stick there. And once it's epoxied, you will never know that there was a white rim there. So the glitter part works just nicely, so we just now need to figure out if the mica works doing this. I always knew the glitter would work because, you know, that's the whole burnishing method. But I, I'm pretty sure that the mica will work, but I haven't tried it, so we'll just go from here with that. I have blue glitter everywhere. I'm going to grab my purple mica and I think a medicine cup. Just to put it into so it's a little easier than digging into this bag. I need to get some containers to put all my micas in because. I don't like dealing with these bags. I 
I do not need that much. I know I don't need that much, but that's how much I scooped out now. So I'm using a fluffy brush um, just so I can pick it up and apply it to the handle here. Take it off of the stand. And so I'm just going to press it with the brush into the white. I don't mind if there's some white showing through because there's white streaks from the mirror mirror in the body, but I want to cover up as much of it as I can. And if it doesn't cover all with this layer, I'll do another layer with the tacket just to get it finished. because there's some locations I didn't get as much glue as I should have. Make sure you get underneath. Dealing with handles, you need to deal with all the nooks and crannies. So I will do another coat of the tacket and another layer of this before I'm finished because it doesn't completely cover because I didn't necessarily get great coverage with the glue when I put it on so that's okay but it does look better than it did and so there's that and so I'll do the silver line the same and um, come back over my edges and make sure that those are covered and then I will spray seal with clear sealer and apply my um, my vinyl to the bottom so that I have the trees on the bottom and um, I'll come back and show you that part. So here's a quick tip I'm doing an offset vinyl um, for for this saying welcome winter I've got white and um, silver this is actually Robin's transfer tape. It works really quite well. Um, so what I do is take my base and stick it to a Cricut mat so that it's not going to static jump up as I'm trying to lay down my layer of vinyl that's going over top of it. So I'm going to just peel this off and line it up. Robin's vinyl has the grid, or her transfer tape, I'm sorry, has the grid on it, so it makes it a little easier for, for getting straight onto cups, although this particular one I'm planning on angling a little bit, so I don't really need it to be straight, but it's a good transfer tape. And so I'm just going to line it all up on the white and press it all down. And voila, I am all lined up and I didn't have any shifting or moving of my base piece because I had it stuck down to the Cricut vinyl. Alternatively, if you don't, I mean, if, if we're cutting things, we have the Cricut vinyl, the mats or the, the sticky mats. But if you don't have one handy, um, you can also tape the paper of the backing to your table and do it that way. So that's just a quick tip for you. Okay, so this, I, I've done all of this off camera because um, I've changed my mind several times on what I'm doing. So what I've done here is done a wrap all the way around um, of these trees. 
and I just I, I not them out originally just to go around the handle and had cut this um, the rest of it straight but it just looked too um, linear so I've cut around all of the shapes of the trees and I just I just loved all of this too much to cover it up so um, because it just looks to me like a snowy sky so I love it so and and I had just originally put the the micas and the glitters on to have this space um, flow with the vinyl now I put um, words on here this is Robin's satin chrome vinyl it's lovely it weeded really nicely um, I put that in behind the offset and then I cut the um, I originally did white with the silver on top and I didn't like the way that looked so I cut the words out of the top part of this vinyl so I cut the words out of out of where the purple um, was prevalent and um, it came out beautifully it goes really well with the part on the bottom because it's from the same vinyl and um, I really love it so I'm just going to epoxy this um, one maybe two layers I did put a coat of epoxy on top just a clear coat on top of the glitter because sometimes when you're using chunky glitter in a swirl situation it it creates um, um, bumps so so I put another coat on to smooth it out so I'm gonna put one possibly two more coats of epoxy on this to cover up all of the vinyl you just need to do it until it's smooth and um, and it's gonna be done